Holy crap. C'est la vie. Hey, um, Willa, <laughs> we're in Monaco. Before making our way to Menton, France, we've stopped here in Ventimiglia, Italy, which is a very popular place to come, especially for those who are in Menton. They take a short train ride over here to explore this area. So because we're already in the car and we came from Italy, we decided to make the stop before heading in. And we're excited because already on the drive here, we saw a market and that is just calling our name. Let's go check it out. In the corner of my mind, I've been thinking of some time. I've took streets, trails, and old back roads Deserts, oceans, river bends Say goodbye to some dear friends Sometimes that's how it goes It's all passing me by Like a dream in the night Hard to explain, but easy to see It's all in front of me It's all passing me by Like a dream in the night What's wrong with you, Noah? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Got him packed. Something you guys need to know is that Rissa has been like googly-eyed all over this place for the last few days, especially leading up to it. And um, when we turned around the corner, she got really excited because she has been looking forward to seeing this view along the coast. And it is pretty amazing. I think that it's safe to say that she's happy. Yeah, I am happy. If you couldn't tell by that little noise. It's so picturesque. I can't wait to get a better view. And before we completely switch gears to France, we wanted to talk a little bit more about Italy. The place that we stayed at yesterday in Imperia was incredible. Honestly, we really enjoyed staying there. It was a fun surprise for us. Didn't expect it to be as picturesque as it was. And then we thought it was gonna be the same in Ventimiglia, but to be honest, we were kind of let down. It was a little bit like underwhelming compared to Imperia. So for us, mm -hmm. that was a fun surprise. We didn't end up getting a lot of tasty food at the market just because it was like a fresh produce market. So we got like a peach, which was delicious, but it wasn't like a, oh, go here to like try all the best street food kind of market. So for us, if we were to ever come and do this again, we would definitely do Imperia, skip over Ventimiglia, and then definitely, I mean, we haven't even been here for more than five minutes, but definitely come back to Menton as well. Yes, Tanner went on a run this morning to Imperia and got some footage, so check this out. Waking up this morning a little early to get on a run, but nature calls, so headed over to the bathrooms here in our camping site, and uh, couldn't help but show you guys these. It's been a while since I've seen one of these, so here we go. In case you missed our Lake Como video, be sure to give that a watch because, man, amazing. <laughs> well, while Willa watches the boys jump up into the water, I just have to take a moment for this view. Holy crap, I told you, it's so picturesque. So this area is deemed the Pearl of the French Riviera. And I mean, we haven't seen more than this at this point, except we did see Cannes when we came here on our cruise, which was really fun, except it was raining. So we do have that to compare it with, but this is like beautiful, basically speechless. Did you take my sunglasses? Where did they go? You got them! <laughs> Oh my goodness! Wow! 
at, this is pretty remarkable. The staircase that crisscrosses all the way back up all the way to the church. Yeah, it's very, very drawing and orange. So of course it's like, stands out too. And I was actually looking at the view behind him saying that's incredible. So equally incredible on both sides. Lunch with the view. Can we go and dive in? Let's dive in. Mmm, it's kind of peppery. It's kind of bacon. I've said this so many times about this place, but truly, wow. <laughs> Whoa! Cute. She's probably the cutest of them all. And this pineapple gelato is, mmm, c'est la vie. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Monaco. You know, we just had to take the opportunity to drive through this country while we were so close. That's literally what we're doing though. It's just driving through. Obviously, Will is tired. We're trying to get Noah to sleep. So sometimes you just gotta carry on and see it from the car. Such a different life. Watching our videos, you might be wondering, how do Tanner and Rissa do it? How do we go on a camping trip that's two and a half weeks long with a baby and a toddler? This is one of the ways that we do it. We let our baby sleep at 4.56 p.m. So that's how we will be up very late because Willa will definitely not be tired in that time. But honestly, we just, take it as it comes and we don't follow any sort of schedule. Sorry, we're going through tunnels, but we don't really follow any schedule and we just go with the flow and it works for us. Definitely felt very overwhelmed knowing what to get in there, but I think I came away with some good stuff and uh, spent more than I was planning, but of course I had to get a lovely croissant. Mm -hmm. I got a couple of those. And a chocolate filled one because, you know, Rissa loves chocolate. I also couldn't help but getting some Macron, <laughs> a Snickers one, chocolate, lemon, and raspberry. And then I've got some quiche as well. And we're talking quiet because both the babies are asleep. And yes, I sit in the back because Noah really likes contact during her naps. She's the calmest baby if we're close next to her. So I sit back by her and she never makes fuss. Since the last time you saw us, we went to our campsite, which we've got to say camping here in Europe compared to our experience back in the States is much better. At our latest campsite, we had a swimming pool. You could order bread to be delivered in the morning. It had a playground area. And not only that, but it had like this jumping area and like a trampoline for the kids. It was really nice. Multiple different areas for bathrooms, showers, etc. So 
We love that. Oftentimes there's free Wi-Fi at them. Overall, we've just loved camping here in Europe and that's a good thing because we have a lot more of it to come. Tanner woke up and got some drone footage of the area. Sadly, we didn't get any in Minton, France because the Nice area just isn't as beautiful in our opinion, but nonetheless, we're happy that we got some. The coast was really fun and beautiful. We enjoyed our time there. Really, we feel like it's been an adventurous place for us to come and see. We loved seeing the coast again, having warmer temperatures. Thanks for watching everyone. If you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.